Hello everyone, I am Ziera. Today, I would like to discuss about Life Cycle Impact Assessment. For discussion today, I will cover subtopic 4.1 Basic Principle of Life Cycle Impact Assessment and 4.3 Structure of Impact Assessment according to ISO 14040 and ISO 14044. Definition. These methods of analysis do not indicate that actual impacts will be observed in the environment because of the life cycle of the product only that there is a potential linkage between the product OR process life cycle and the impacts. Basic Principle of Life Cycle Impact Assessment, LCIA. Second predominantly scientific phase of life cycle assessment, LCA, together with the life cycle inventory, LCI, analysis. ISO 14044 refers to two types of studies, LCA studies and LCI studies. Inventory studies do not contain an impact assessment, but contain the phases definition of goal and scope, as well as interpretation. Why impact assessment necessary for a full LCA? LCA or eco balance requires considering and quantifying substantial environmental aspects, refers to inputs and outputs that can interact with the environment. With a complete inventory, numerous data on mass flows, emissions, resource consumption and energy demand are present, which are difficult to handle and therefore make aggregations desirable. An inventory supplies more information than can be expected of raw input and output data. 4. An ecological product comparison must not imply that, for example, a product system A using less energy in its life cycle than product system B, but with emissions of environmental toxic substances with a small mass flow but substantial impact, performs better than product system B. Next, Life Cycle Impact Assessment LCIA. Aimed to understanding and evaluating the magnitude and significance of the potential environmental impacts for a product system throughout the life cycle of the product. ISO 14044, the formulation potential environmental impacts emphasizes the LCIA, is not to be confused with an environmental risk assessment. A third of the carbon dioxide that spews forth from our cars, factories, power plants, and airplanes. That's over 22 million tons of CO2 a day. But the ocean doesn't just absorb all that CO2. There's a chemical reaction going on here. Through processes involving hydrogen ions and other sciencey nonfiction words, the ocean is becoming more acidic. And that, in turn, is eroding the shells of vital marine species, including clams, oysters, urchins, and pteropods. The chemical change in our seawater is also having an effect on corals. In fact, scientists say that ocean acidification could wipe out most coral reefs by the middle of this century. It's affecting larger animals, too. For example, certain fish have a harder time detecting predators. And that's just for starters. The good news is that with less carbon pollution, the ocean should regain its chemical balance. If not, the truth will be a lot scarier than fiction. Structure of Impact Assessment according to ISO 14040 and 14044. First, Mandatory Elements. Selection of Impact Categories, Category Indicators and Characterization Models. Assignment of LCI Results, Classification. Calculation of category indicator results, characterization. Second is optional elements. Calculation of the magnitude of impact category indicator results relative to reference information, normalization, grouping, weighting. Next, classification. Correlation of inventory items to impact categories, for example, Gas house gases to the impact category climate change or acid forming gases to the impact category. Acidification. Besides output relevant releases from the technosphere into the environment, inputs from the environment into the technosphere have to be assigned to the extent of their procurement in the inventory. Next, characterization is the core item of LCIA. According to ISO 14040, factor derived from a characterization model which is applied to convert an assigned life cycle inventory analysis result to the common unit of the category indicator. According to ISO 14044, calculation of indicator results, characterization, involves 
the conversion of LCI results to common units and the aggregation of the converted results within the same impact category. CO2 and CH4 are assigned to climate change. Impact category for climate change for incandescent lamp is 800,000 kg CO2 to air, while for fluorescent lamp is 50,000 kg. Incandescent lamp also produce 230 kg CH4 to air, and fluorescent lamp produce 24 kg CH4 to air. Example, 5 kg CO2 and 3 kg CH4 yield 68 kg CO2 EQ. This a formula that we'll use. Unit of characterization result. First is kilogram CO2 EQ for climate change and kilogram SO2 EQ. This is example of a characterization table. Impact category for climate change for incandescent lamp is 120,000 kg CO2 EQ. While for fluorescent lamp is 40,000 kg CO2 EQ. Impact category for acidification for incandescent lamp is 45 kg SO2 EQ and for fluorescent lamp is 21 kg SO2 EQ. Next, optional elements of LCIA. Normalization. According to ISO 14044, calculation of the magnitude of the category. Indicator results relative to some reference information. The aim of the normalization is to understand better the relative magnitude for each indicator result of the product system under study. As reference values national, regional, e.g. European Union and North America, used with respect to an approximate accordance with geographical system boundaries. Next, grouping. Grouping as an optional element of LCIA provides an option to summarize the results of the preceding elements. ISO 14044 definition of grouping is little descriptive. Assignment of impact categories into one or more sets is predefined in the goal and scope definition, and it may involve sorting and or ranking. Two possibilities are indicated. First is to sort impact categories on a nominal basis. For example by characteristics, such as inputs and outputs or global, regional, and local spatial scales. Second is to rank the impact categories in a given hierarchy, for example high, medium, and low priority. This is example of the results of grouping. Impact category in climate change for incandescent lamp is 1.2, 10 to 11 year. While for fluorescent lamp is 4, 10 to 12 year. Impact category for acidification by incandescent lamp is 9, 10 to 11 year and for fluorescent lamp is 4.2, 10 to 11 year. The ranking of impact categories in the method applied by the Federal Environmental Agency, UBA, refers to three criteria. 1. Ecological endangering. Irreversible impacts are more serious than reversible ones. Ubiquitous impacts are more serious than spatially limited ones. 2. Distance to target. The larger the distance between the status quo and a quantified quality goal of the environment. Rising loads are regarded as more serious than stagnating or diminishing ones. 3. Specific contribution. They are categorized by five classes, where the highest specific contribution serves as the base factor. A. Highest priority 80 to 100% of the maximum value to. E. Lowest priority 0 to 20% of the maximum value. Next, weighting. Regarded as replacement for valuation, which according to ISO standards is to be strictly avoided. In contrast to the element, grouping, numerical factors are admitted which are based on value choices. Process of converting indicator results of different impact categories by using numerical factors based on value choices. Value-based decisions must be made as to which weighting factor is applied and to which impact category. This is a formula of weighting. The table show the example of the results weighting. Weighted index for incandescent lamp is 8.5, 10 to 10 year and for fluorescent lamp is 1.4, 10 to 10 year. Additional analysis of data quality. The impact assessment can only be interpreted to mean that the impact assessment with immature methods can lead to misjudgment. Three specific methods are suggested. Center of gravity analysis, uncertainty analysis, sensitivity analysis. 
the results of the analysis can suggest the need for an improvement of the inventory analysis. For example, if the data procured in the inventory are not sufficient for a correct conduct of an impact assessment. This video will explain about center of gravity analysis. So, how is the analysis conducted? First, determine the adversary's goal. In this example, the rebels, the British adversary in the southern campaign of the American Revolution, want to eliminate British military presence and loyalist governance, and instead establish patriot governance and control. In analyzing the rebels, to accomplish their desired end state, they must establish control and security of the populace, the critical capability. To accomplish this task, the rebels require certain conditions, resources, and means, the critical requirements. The analyst analyzes each of the critical requirements to identify inherent vulnerabilities. These critical vulnerabilities become military objectives along the various lines of operation or effort that focus on disrupting the center of gravity. To identify the center of gravity, we ask ourselves which adversarial entity has the ability to conduct the critical capabilities. In this case, the Patriot Militia is the only rebel entity able to conduct the critical capability and achieve the end state. To prevent a rush to judgment, identification of the center of gravity was delayed until the analysis of the critical factors was completed. Reference first, Klopfer, W. and Grawl, B. 2014. Life Cycle Assessment, A Guide to Best Practice. Second, Peter Riopel, 2018. Center of Gravity Analysis, YouTube. And third is Pew, 2016. What is Ocean Acidification? From YouTube. That all from me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and if you have any comment please leave below.